How's it going pals? This is Ernaz and welcome to my WWE No Mercy pay-per-view predictions. And uh, just want to let you know if you uh, if they add a match before now and then, I'm doing this a little early, so that could be why you uh, don't see a certain match on here. But let's just get started with the kickoff match between Jack Swagger and Baron Corbin. Now, uh, Baron Corbin, of course, has been built pretty good in SmackDown. Even when he's not on the show, he's always doing something in the background or he's on Talking Smack or, you know, so on and so forth. And he's been winning quite a lot of things, so, you know, they're building him up a, a lot. And then Jack Swagger, of course, just came in. It's going to be his kind of debut, his, his big moment, I guess, his uh, first one. And I can't imagine them just... Uh, making Baron go over Jack Swagger, but I also can't imagine Jack Swagger just winning clean and taking out Bar uh, Baron's uh, momentum. So I think something will either happen where Baron will get the DQ, while Jack will win by DQ, but uh, Baron will DQ Jack, or uh, maybe Jack will do a roll up and win out of nowhere, and you know it'll be a surprise win. So this one I'm going to give to Jack Swagger. Next up is Nikki Bella versus Carmella. Now this has been a rivalry that's been going on and I was actually surprised to see it go onto the pay-per-view card. Uh, weirdly because I thought it was going to keep on for the show for a while. I'm sure it will still. But uh, this one I'm kind of iffy about. I'm also thinking maybe like something will go down where uh, it won't be either a clean finish or you know whatever. But um, I'm actually going to give this one randomly to Nikki uh, only because Carmella has been going up and up but I still feel like they're just doing that to give it to Nikki at the end because you know it's Nikki I guess but I, I don't know I just feel like Nikki might pull off the win here and uh, you know to kind of put her back into that moment of you know she came back from this injury and then she just won so I believe that might happen or who knows Carmella could you know stomp her down but I'm giving this to, this one to Nikki. And finally, our first title match for the pay-per-view, SmackDown's Women Champion Becky Lynch versus Alexa Bliss. Now, if you know me, you know I'm a big fan of Alexa Bliss, but I don't think Becky will lose yet. Uh, she hasn't really had any kind of match uh, to retain, and she hasn't had any kind of uh, I'm going to prove I'm a champion type thing. And I think right now, would it be the right uh, spot to give? another person in the championship so i i mean that's basically it so i will give it to becky lynch after that we got the tag team championship match against heath slater and rhino versus the usos now this one it was a toss-up for me um they have already retained once and i kind of think the usos is on like a track right now they're the heels and i kind of feel like maybe the heels is going to win so the usos uh, just for the fact that, you know, it's built up to face a heel uh, ch champion because, you know, I, I, I just kind of think that the tag team championships would kind of be better if it was, you know, so I don't really think that the Heath Slater and Rhino will overcome this, especially since the Usos is a big deal now and they've been taking out people and things like that. But I also think that they might win... Once again, I know I said this in almost every match, but I think they might win in a weird kind of way. But I'm actually going to give this one to the Usos. I'm going to think that the Usos is going to pull it off, even though I don't want that yet. I really like Heath Slater and Rhino, but I'm going to give it to the Usos. Next up is one of the most important matches on the card, I think, and it's got a lot of people talking. The Miz versus Dolph Ziggler. If Ziggler loses, he must retire. So this is for the Intercontinental Championship as well, of course, and I am iffy about this one. I'm kind of like some people, and maybe it's Dolph's time, and maybe he wants to chill out for a while, but then at the same time, I'm like, you know what, maybe that's what they want you to think, and Dolph Ziggler will pull it off and get the Intercontinental Championship. Will he stay Intercontinental Champion? I have no idea, but I actually think that he might pull it off, and you know, it's his big moment. He finally done it yada yada <laughs> you know that whole story but i really think that dolph is going to pull this one off so i'm giving it to dolph ziggler then we have randy orton versus bray wyatt 
Uh, this this feud's actually been kind of cool. I really like the mind games. It's been simple. Bray Wyatt's been like his little evil character, just singing and things like that. And I, I really like that. And Randy, of course, being his manipulative self. I just said that really weird. But um, I think that he's been doing well with uh, Wyatt as well. And I honestly can't imagine Bray going over Orton for some reason. I just think that the face should come out here. You know, just because of the way the story went, I know a lot of people will say, well, Wyatt needs this win, and I kind of agree. I mean, he needs something to make himself like, you know, he won against Orton or something like that. But for some reason, I just can't see it. I really think that Orton might pick up the win. But with that being said, I'm actually going to go with Wyatt. And let me explain why I said all that, and then I went to Wyatt. The only reason why I said I think Orton should win is because of that. But I also think they might do a swerve and make Wyatt win just because Randy Orton already looks good. He can look good. Like he went with Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar kicked his ass or whatever. He's back right there. And I think maybe they will give it to Wyatt finally. And then Orton, you know, he won't go anywhere. He'll still be on top. So I'm going to go with Bray Wyatt. And then finally, we have the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match against AJ Styles, Dean Ambrose, and John Cena. This one could go any way. Uh, I don't... The, the one that I'm leaning more away from is Dean Ambrose. I think it will either be AJ or John Cena. John Cena because, you know, he beats Ric Flair's. he would be the 16-time champion again. But to be honest, I don't feel like AJ's going to lose it yet. I don't know why, but... I just feel like AJ needs it. Uh, well, I, I don't think he needs it, but I, th I think they need it on AJ. I think that he'll, right now, would be okay. I think maybe Dean Ambrose will jump off the title, and maybe it will be John and Styles, you know, in a singles match. But I don't think AJ's going to lose it. If Cena wins and becomes 16-time world champion, then it, it would make sense because, I mean, that's what they're building toward. But I really think that it might come later maybe a bigger stage like maybe wrestlemania or you know something like that but i don't think that it's going to happen yet so i'm going to go with aj styles all right guys if y'all like this video then please hit that like button and as always you could be a pal and subscribe baron corbin showing some adversity right now